Hey guys, Moon Elf again. We are back with another gear update. I did one of these about three weeks ago, so I thought I'd give you another gear update. And we've really just boosted up in an eye level. It's been crazy. Uh, so let's go through everything from right to left. We first got the Gromstalker's gloves. These are the BIS tier 6 pieces, the gloves and the shoulders. So I'm really happy we got them. Otherwise, we have the Bone Weaver Girdle. This dropped for us last night, and this kind of changes up our whole set completely. It allows us to move things around. It allows us to use a little bit more armor pen, but we are really struggling for the hit. We need a lot of hit, <laughs> or at least it feels like we need a lot of hit. This set is only a 6% hit, or it's a 6% set, and still, I feel like I'm really struggling to get the hit I need, even at 6%. Mostly because most of the tier 6 pieces are missing that hit. It's really kind of a rough life for a hunter <laughs> when it comes to hit, that's for sure. Otherwise, we have the tier 6 pants, the Grom Stalker's leggings. These are kind of meh, okay. You will be using these, especially if you do have sea boss. Then the four pieces you want are the chest, the shoulders, the gloves, and the pants. But right now, we're rocking the head, the shoulders, the gloves, and the pants because we don't have CVOS and we also don't have the chest. <laughs> so yeah, we're ro rocking the, the pants and they're okay. I mean, they're not great. They're not as good as the waist that we just got or the gloves, but they're just okay. We have the boots. The boots are awesome. T they're from Terran Gorefiend and they're really, really good. These are second base, I believe. Uh, soft step boots of tracking. They give you hit, crit rating, attack power, and agi. They don't have a gem socket, but that's okay. It's still really, really just a solid set of boots. You can also get the token boots. I think they give you 22 hit instead of 17 if you're really struggling for that hit. But I would go for these if uh, if I were you. Next up, we have Ring of De Deceitful Intent. This ring, funny enough, no one wanted it when it dropped. No one. And now everyone wants it. <laughs> Um, but we got this a few weeks ago. We also have the high jaw ring, which is better just pure DPS wise, but we just don't have the hit to, to have it. And after simming as much as we did with all the different setups, this was the best setup having the hit ring on instead of the high jaw ring, which kind of makes me a little bit curious if this attack power proc does come up how different my DPS would actually be with it up, or maybe the proc rate is just so low on the ring that's just not worth, but we'll have to just see. Otherwise, in ZA, we've gotten really lucky with the drops. We have almost all the gear we need from ZA. We got the ring, this ring, the armor pen ring, the first week that we went to ZA. It's a really great ring. It's the best ring you can possibly have. We're actually rocking about 784 armor pen, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, overall, this is a really, really solid ring. We have Berserker's Call, which is insane, also from ZA. This is the most insane trinket you could possibly get. I'm not going to lie, 90 passive attack power is just nuts. And then 360. You can compare it to Bloodlust Brooch, which we actually have equipped as well. We're using two on-use trinkets. I was a bit skeptical to use two on-hit trinkets at the beginning, but at the end, after simming everything, this was kind of the best that we could do, especially with two lusts. It's actually quite nice. So we'll pop the Berserker's Call on the first lust, and then on the second lust, we'll use Bloodlust Brooch. And then the fight's generally over by that point. But you can see here, you can't use both at the same time, sadly. That's just how it goes. Next up, we have the SSC Longbow. The bow from... High jaw is actually like a 49 DPS difference. It's really, really quite big, uh, but it just hasn't dropped for us enough quite yet. We're kind of in the back of the line for the bow right now, and I've been playing Hunter long enough to know that the line for the bow doesn't really get shorter. You just wait longer and longer and longer for the bow to drop. It literally, sometimes it's great. Sometimes you get guilds that just drop a million bows, and then sometimes you just never get one until the next tier. And that's just how it goes, man. That's just how, that's the hunter life. Next up, we have two daggers of bad mojo. These are the best daggers you can get. The best weapons you can get by a long, 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 long shot. It's just insane. They give agi, attack power, and armor pen. 
and they don't have any stam at all, which makes these so insanely good. I don't know what else to say about this other than these are amazing daggers. If you're a hunter, first thing I would do is jump into ZA, soft reserve one of these bad boys. No one else will be on it unless there's another hunter there. And soft reserve berserker's call because, yeah, these things are insane. Or just increase your DPS by so much. Next up, we have Wraps of Precious Flight. These are not BIS for us. What we really, really need, or the biggest upgrade, I think, for us at this point is probably actually the Bracers from BT, so these Insidious Bands. Not because they're just better DPS-wise, but because they have that extra hit that we need. And with that hit, we can swap some of our worst pieces off out. And that brings us to our chest, our Tier 5 chest. <laughs> We have a better, we have second BIS tier 5 chest, but we just don't have, yeah, we just don't have the hit to use it, sadly. We also don't really have the gem slots, which I need to work out. But this is really kind of a big, huge problem, my tier 5 chest. I would prefer to have the tier 6 chest and the insidious bands, but we'll just have to see how this goes. Sometimes the roll RNG or loot council RNG is not on your side. That specific day and that's just that's just how it goes that's just how it goes but we have Dory's embrace for our back and we were using uh we were using drape of the dark reaver but we've after simming quite a lot we've realized that Dory's embrace is just like so much better so we're using that we we have tier six grom stalker shoulders with the four set first week with four set boys increasing the damage of our steady sharp by 10 percent, and i'm gonna if once we get back in that double lust group, we're going to be pumping. We're going to be getting those 99s with that force at 10% extra damage to steady shot. That's insane. But yeah, these are really good shoulders. Like an insane amount better than the tier 5 shoulders with that armor pen. 126 armor pen, 68 attack power. Next up, we have the neck. This we got from TK and otherwise we just have the choker vile intent the only better one is from hydro trash but just sadly we haven't gotten it or it hasn't dropped i don't know why but we just get unlucky sometimes that's how it rolls i hope we will get it at some point in the near future but you can't get your hopes up even better actually would be the supremacist neck but we haven't i don't think we've even seen that a single time this one with that extra hit that's just how the cookie crumbles and then we have Grumpstalker's helmet. Seavos is the best helmet you can get, but Seavos being Seavos, there's a line. <laughs> We've actually had quite a few of them drop in our guild, but we just haven't gotten it. I mean, we just, I don't know how long we've been raiding with this guild now, maybe two months now, and we just haven't gotten, or a month and a half, and we just haven't gotten it yet, which is cool. There's a lot of other hit pieces, but kind of the goal for us is to swap our waste to don alejandro's money belt at some point and then swap our ring that's kind of like our number one goal here in our build but otherwise we've just like boosted ourselves super hard when it comes to moon elf i'm really quite happy with how things are progressing with the character we are pumping better and better each week and i think the guild is like getting more into it. hardcore pumping 99s we'll see but anyway that's it for the video guys. I hope you really liked it. And if you want to see more in the future, just give us a subscribe. That'd be very helpful. Or if you liked the video and like would be nice. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. I always stream on uh, Twitch. The link is below in the description. So yeah, hope to see you guys there at some point. Cheers guys.